disable that engine room, you and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not gonna take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. Nope, it shouldn't. What is up guys, my name is Topsa and welcome back to slide 2, part of this post commentary last chapter because I messed up. Anyway, in this episode we have to steal keys. Again. Pretty normal stuff actually. Now, like Sly said, this is not going to take long. Well, it would take long if the cards weren't spread around this whole goddamn place. Uh. Engine room key. There we go. Get some commentary done again. So yeah, slide two again. Post commentary yet again. Because of reasons that I explained when I started this chapter. Quite interesting to see that we still haven't found a safe. This guy's got turned around, but I got the key just in time. And he actually didn't turn around on me. So I was spared. Oh yeah. Yeah, the hopping skill is also a really good um, way to sneak up there. If you don't ha have the rocket shoes or stealth slide, however that skill was called that I bought, um, that's another really good way of actually getting across. Okay, tell me how is how this is working because I'm pretty sure that shouldn't work. Also, six ninety nine. Uh, it's really good actually to be walking around normally instead of using a barrel because that would just take forever and ever and ever to get around this place. I'm actually kind of glad that they took the, that mission type away in future game because that, would ju that, that is just slowing the pace down completely. Or if anything else, just use some someone else other than Sly. Yeah, totally sneaky. Do not just bounce bounce a pistol. Okay, Sly, I'm waiting by the engine room door. Engine room door, which is on the other side. Uh, oh, by the way, did I tell you that this place is kind of a mirror? That the, that there's a single line where afterwards it just completely duplicates itself. I think I talked about that earlier. Lazy design. And lever. And Bentley goes in. Uh, yeah, that's why you should actually. And that's why you listen, listen what you have to do instead of just go and do it and will fail like me. I did. By the way, can you hear the cracking noise? Actually, this was the f first time in. From yes, that I actually because I didn't even pay attention to that cracking sound, but that just means that your dart is actually reloaded. Now, for some odd reason, I'm having a hard time to shoot this one light bulb here. Uh, 
Uh, do you wonder why I'm not just going across? Like, boost jump my way across this? Well, first of all, my hover pack isn't good enough for me to get across this place. And on the floor, it, you can see it's a, I think it's electrocute, electrocuted. Which means one zap death. Just like suit shooting two different um, pairs. I'm actually having a quite quite decent uh, hit rate here. Apart from that ten misses earlier. And bounce up. Well, how do you bounce up? By moving forward in this area, jerk. Ah, there we go. So the so yeah, th these tact missions are just like this. One. P Hold on. So yeah, that's pretty much just run, drop bombs, and be done. Yeah, these tactic missions are split light into this. If the, uh, one person does something to get into the room and the other person does something inside the room. Right, I'm going, I'm going. Still haven't found a save. That's one less engine for that creepy clock lock thing to draw power from. Yep, one engine down, two to go. Ninety one percent. So it's kind of a cool concept. Too bad that just everyone isn't teaming up with everyone. Oh yeah, this is also a really good thing. Um, because you start with one character and end with another, you can just go straight. Uh, that arrow is in mid air, it's up there. You can just go to the next tag team mission. Now if you start with Sly, you can do all the tag team moves. And after that you can go and do the TNT run or vice versa like I did oh I was looking for this to steal two bits of energy and take can hit by the spotlight yeah I'm I'm in a bad place luckily my hover pack will save me because they are too stupid to move around one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. The Murray will be ready to go. Of course, Bentley specialty hacking. Uh, to be honest, this, hacking is one of the worst parts in this game, which, which is kind of surprising to be honest, because the hacking missions are okay, but there there is just way too many of them. Also, this is the kind of part where the game changes. So now you have bouncing bullets. If you just don't keep shooting your oh, bullets out of the sky. So yeah, this is the only part of the hack that actually involves a little bit. But let if you compare, say, like some of the earlier hacking missions, 
they were pretty much okay there's one area let's just make it a little bit harder and that's how you create new level ideas nope that is just adding challenge to a level and that is lazy design also this is kind of annoying try to hit this with an angle also they are shooting your own bullets there out of so good luck trying to get them also damage damage boost because why not And that's the first one out of three. Uh, <laughs> Hacking in the first game was kind of um, meh, okay, except that you only had some, you ha had only so much room for error. This, well, it's pretty much one one idea and then just reused over and over again way too many times if there was if there were less hacking missions in this game that wouldn't be too much of a problem to me I think they did hacking it really well in 3 and 4 there's clock club by the way flying around again now this arrow is pointing into nothingness and this guy just decides to come alive so I'm just gonna say, let, just let me hack. And this guy's gonna completely ignore me because I'm hacking. Okay, this is kind of varied. Still, not nothing special. This is pretty much shoot till you win. How many hacking uh, stages have we done in this game? Like, probably around 20, right? And in first game we got that one mini game, which is something that was just it was just there. I. Okay, from the top of my head, I can remember five hacking stages in Sly 3. And in Sly 4, by the way, Sly 4 is this in time. I'm just calling it 4 because it's the fourth game in the series. Also, damage boost because screw you. But not that one because I would have died otherwise. And one more to go. Oh yeah, about hacking. Um, Sly 4 has... I don't even remember how many. And... There, there's three different types of uh, hacking in Sly 4. One of them is... Uh, and that's why it just doesn't go high as slide 3, but it's still better than this one. Also, for some reason, it, the game didn't even let me hack this computer. I smell a cheap loading time. Ah uh, yeah, here's the mission. Moving tanks in a, one, in a linear corridor. I smell, I think they run over out of ideas. Because so many hacking missions. Yeah, about, yeah, it's like for, um, while a lot of hacking, one of the game is super fun to do. One of them is a norm normal one and one of them is something I'm going to bitch about when I play the game because that hacking game and
Yeah, that hack hacking game and final boss is the reason why I don't I I can't say it's a perfect game. Looks like you'll need to lift all those giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the up position, you'll be able to take them out from the top level. Yeah. Uh that's the those two are the reasons why I can't even say the game is good. It's okay. Well, it's a good game, yeah, but can't really disappointing for Sly game. Yeah, normal minions, just take them out, lift the piston by pressing all the buttons in the world. And then smack, rinse and repeat. After you get them all, just go to the top. No jerk. This is the point where I was trying to find my flame that, that move that doesn't even kill these easy minions in one hit which is kind of pathetic oh while on subject was live for one thing I will complain right now is the loading times are bad compare the loading times to this like that, me entering this area, for instance, it took about five to ten seconds, a standard time. Then, yeah, as I was saying, take take that loading time for me getting into this room and multiply it by three. It's ridiculous. But I will bitch about that when I play the game in a probably three or four months time. <laughs> I'm being just realistic here. It will take me that long. And pull a block. Another engine bites the dust. And an engine bites the dust. Sorry. 95. We are almost done with the game. Three more missions to do. Thanks guys for watching for this episode and next time we'll be doing the last tag team mission in this game.